Hey, welcome to Pass the Rings, Volume 138. Today we're talking about The Curtain's New Ruins, split cassette that came out on November 7th of 2018. Let's remove the scope, shall we? Alright. So, uh, the history behind this, uh, this is not really that much history. I mean, like, I went to Seattle to go see... See you, Space Cowboy. I met Timmy uh, on that tour, uh, and then I also met uh, Dom on that tour from See You, Space Cowboy, who was playing in Nouvelle Oscura. And then in Nouvelle Oscura, Taylor was the drummer for New or is the drummer for Nouvelle Oscura. So there's kind of like that connection, and I, I I think it was Taylor who hit me up, but it might also have been New Ruins, for I had reviewed their 2008 e 2018 EP. Um, and was uh, pretty smitten with, 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 with both bands. Uh, Curtains had originally released an EP, I think it was on Millman Records. I, yeah, like five or seven songs, something like that. Oh, no, no, three. Three songs. Pretty short, but, uh, you know, just straight bangers. Anyway, uh, uh, so yeah, one of those people asked me to uh, help release it. Just as a little background here for... Uh, for New Ruins, uh, we already kind of talked about uh, The Curtains, other projects, but New Ruins was also in, uh, or people from New Ruins were in Frail Hands, Wax, He Say, Open the Border, and Grief, the two primary ones there being Frail Hands and He Say. I don't know if you haven't, if you've heard He Say, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, because of Screamo, H-E-I-S-S-E, -S -S -E, uh, really good emo violence, kind of like King's Girls, like the East Coast has a very, like, awesome thing going on, a very small pocket over there, so um, New Ruins belongs in that, but it, they don't really have that emo violence thing going on, it's almost a metallic hardcore with like elements of post-hardcore and screamo in it, so I think like The Bled, Secret Arms, uh, Lied, Fall of Troy, uh, Seasons Worn, that kind of stuff, it's uh, it's a little bit noodly, um, a little bit like, yeah, like metallic, I, I, The Bled definitely comes to mind, New Ruins, uh, is able to inject more melody and traditional structure, I guess, uh, when compared to the Curtain songs, which are super short, just like blazes of fire. Uh, the Curtain songs are much more, uh, I mean, they're Bonavir and uh, like Loma Prieta worship um, in the best possible way. Uh, really, really incredible five songs uh, that they just absolutely rip through in I think pretty much the time it takes uh, New Ruins to do one of their tracks. Uh, also, at the end of the New Ruins uh, closer, whatever that one's called, there is a very uh, nice. Mm, there's like additional additional instrumentation. I don't know what's going on there. I think maybe it's a violin or something. But it all works out very nicely. Uh, we could have had it all is the name of the track. Um, for the curtain songs, I don't even know if I have a favorite track. Uh, track one is probably my favorite. Track one or three. Uh, and then New Ruins, both tracks are, uh, are fire also. So, uh, the tapes, there were 75 tapes made, if you can uh, believe what I used to write there. I think there's probably 75 to 78, because there's probably some overs. I put them in the uh, packaging thing. The art is by Sean Leary of uh, Lone Preda, uh, you know, Stormlight, etc. Uh, now Jerome's Dream. There's I guess kind of like two versions of this. Uh, this one here has uh, the Curtains New Ruins um, horizontally, and then the other side is flipped. So, but there is some other versions that have it over the over the actual thing here. So it so starts New Ruins, and the other side is obviously the Curtain side. I thought that was pretty cool. I think I did this one for the for most of them. Uh, it's on Sparkle Paper. I think every single one of them is on Sparkle Paper. Uh, you know about Sparkle Paper, I know about Sparkle Paper, I talk about Sparkle Paper all the goddamn time. Uh, the inside has the track listing poorly printed, and this was before I realized that I had to uh, realign my printer, because I didn't read the instructions properly. Uh, so you start to notice uh, around these releases that the, the quality starts to degrade sometimes, um, but I mean like the cover still looks really nice, and it's also on the, the, the Sparkle Paper. Sparkle Paper! Did I mention it was on Sparkle Paper? Sparkle Paper! I mean, <laughs> Sparkle Paper, uh, why is the back black? 
Oh, right, I botched a bunch of these covers. Oh, these covers were so hard to do. As simple as they are, I had a really hard time shrinking the stuff down to be able to get the tracks, track times and stuff in. So these are these are sold out. Um, I wouldn't even say long sold out. I believe we sold out like a month ago. Um, I have two copies here. I don't need both of these versions, so I'll sell the one that's still in the case. I think this is the rarer one too, so I'll put that one up. Now there's one, I think someone even asked about it recently, uh, if that is the case, and it was you, congratulations! So yeah, um, I didn't check as to what is next. My book is somewhere else. I don't know what's next. It's probably something, and it's probably something good. But um, until next time, there seems to be something wrong with my arms and my hands! Oh, it's rad!